In this video, we'll talk about how to add color to your SLA resin for 3D printing. So I purchased some epoxy resin colorant. It's a variety of colors. In this video, we're using purple. We'll be using this purple resin colorant to add to the Anycubic Eco Resin that is white. So we're coloring the white resin to add some hue. You should shake your resin pretty vigorously to mix it up particularly after it's been sitting for some time. In this case, my resin had been sitting for about a week. So we shake that vigorously. And then we're going to add quite a few drops of the purple colorant. So this is the epoxy resin colorant. I don't show it here either, but I did shake the resin colorant. And then we added quite a few drops of colorant to the bottle. Now this was a full bottle. And I added quite a few drops and this gave it a slightly purple hue. It's difficult to see with this lighting. I had a flashlight on because we had, we were printing after dark and uh, the lighting in this room wasn't terribly good. And then I added additional drops directly to the resin tray. And I let the build plate mix it when I lowered the plate. Now you'll see when I pull the models that there is quite a bit of color on the base, and that's the result of the resin that I dropped directly into the build plate, much of it gathered on the bottom layers. It's obviously difficult to see the coloration through the amber cover, but here when a white three ring binder is placed next to the resin bin, you can truly see the change in hue. This coloration blended nicely across the entire resin tray. After washing for about six minutes, you can then see the coloration in the close-ups of these models. Again, particularly see the purple colorant in the bottom layers, but it is nicely distributed through the model itself. Before we clean the supports, I wanted to show a comparison of the resin colorant added to this build with other resin colors. And so here you can see from left to right what was originally any cubic eco resin in white with the purple colorant added. In the middle is a white with some gray added. <clears throat> Next is an arm of a Tarrasque. And this is a light gray. This was a mix of any cubic white and any cubic gray. Straight from the bottles mixed about 50-50. And then on the far right you can see any cubic gray. And so the only models in which I used colorant are the models on the left that are the purple hue. Everything else was straight out of the bottle, either white or gray or a mix of both. So this is also sped up about eight times the removal of all of the supports using small micro flat nose pliers, an X-Acto knife, some tweezers, and a dry paintbrush to just brush off the little pieces. Now remember that this resin is not yet cured and so I am wearing gloves, it is a little bit tacky and so the little pieces tend to stick. Some fine work was done then around the legs of these models and under the very detailed undergarments uh, around the weapons and the feet of the models and just really cleaned up the base with all the little pieces. And then you can see all three models next to each other. This is prior to curing. The curing took about four minutes and the result was quite satisfying. Very detailed models with a nice purple hue. So in this box of epoxy resin colorant, there were quite a few colors. There was purple, black, fuchsia, orange, blue, white, rose red, fluorescent green, pink, bright yellow, red, darker yellow, royal blue, green, and golden. So these are the resin colorants that I used and I found quite successful. I'm going to continue to experiment with multiple colors and mixes in my models. I'll probably add additional videos in the future. Please do comment if you found resin colorants that were successful or unsuccessful 
in your printing and modeling, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Post any comments or questions, and don't forget to like and subscribe.